Hey guys, so today we're going to do a comic book Wonder Woman look. Um, first thing I'm going to do is fill in my eyebrows. I like to use a light brown to kind of shape them, fill any holes that I need to. So this one is Mocha Java Shadow Sense. Then I'm going to go in with Onyx and Mocha Java Shadow Sense mixed together. It makes kind of like a dark muddy brown and that one I line the eyebrows, edge them out and just make them really bold. Then I'm going to take Candlelight Shadow Sense and use it as a concealer kind of and just cut that line, make it really crisp and clean and then blend it all out. Next I'm going to use Copper Rose Shimmer. Um, this one I'm going to put all over my eyelid, really blend it out nice and smooth and underneath my eye. Now I'm going to use Garnet Shadow since it's our darkest brown and I'm just going to stick it right in that corner to kind of get that smoky eye look and then just under the eye. I'm going to go back in with Copper Rose Shimmer and tap it in, just really pat it in to get a concentrated look. Now I'm going to use Garnet again as my contour on my cheekbones. And then I like to mix Candlelight and my Ivory Foundation for my highlight. I'm going to do triangles under my eyes, on my forehead, down my nose, and then on my chin. I like to mix Candlelight with my foundations because I feel like it blends a lot easier and um, it matches to my skin tone and my foundation and it just looks really well. So I'm going to blend it all out with my brush and then I'm going to go in with a beauty blender or a beauty sponge and just tap it out to get that flawless airbrushed look. I'm using Pink Posy for my blush. This is a Shadow Sense color. Now for my lips, I wanted to do an ombre um, red lip, so it's a little bit darker. I didn't want to go with the traditional, just like bold, bright red lip. So I'm using Plum Lip Sense, overlining the lips really far, so it's super dramatic, really big lip. And then I'm keeping the plum just on the outer corners and right on that line. So keeping that middle just free and clear of any color. And I'm going and doing three layers, making sure they all dry really well, and then keeping that plum right on the line and then right in those corners. I'm going to go in with the blue red and put it all over the entire lip, overlapping that plum and then those spaces where there was not any color. So I'm going to do the three layers of the blue red, getting it all over the lips, letting them each dry, and then I'm going to top it with glossy gloss. Now I'm going to go in with Candlelight. This is my concealer, just kind of cover up any blemishes that I need to. Now I'm going to use Snow Shadow Sense, that's white, and Onyx Shadow Sense as um, kind of like all over my face to get that really cartoon look. Right in your eyes, you're going to do kind of like a downward diagonal triangle just to make your eyes look bigger and more kind of cartoon. I'm also using the white um, just under my nose, right on that little Cupid's bow, underneath or on my lips. Um, I didn't want all of the lines on my lips to just be some straight lines. So this next one I'm going to do kind of like little dashes instead of a straight line. I feel like that breaks it up enough and makes it like a little bit better. So on your chin and then for your eyes, um, you definitely want a nice strong cat eye um, out towards your the tip of your eyebrow and then underneath your eye, you want to make sure you connect it all the way so there aren't any gaps. And then it's also going to, you're also going to outline that white triangle down to the tip and then up to the top of your eyeliner on the top. You want to make sure it connects on both sides. Now you're just going to take the Onyx Shadow Sense and um, use it all over your face to kind of create those cartoon lines on your forehead, by your eyebrows, on your chin. Um, you're going to overline your lips again with the black shadow sense and this just helps it to get that really cartoon look make your lips look super bold and large i wanted the bottom lip to look really big and full and then the top lip i was more concerned with the shape i wanted a really big arch and kind of to come in a little bit skinnier on the sides so you can kind of tell that's what i did i overlined those the arches in the top really 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 far and then brought the line into my actual lip. 
Now you're gonna do the edges of your nostrils, which feels kind of funny, and then down the side of your nose, kind of hook it around and up to the other side. I've seen a lot of people do um, the top of their nose, like you'll see in just a second that I do it as well. Um, you can line the top of your nose, you can line the side right there. I actually went back and erased some of it because it was just a little too much for me. It was too much going on and I wanted it to be a little more clean. So you're also going to line anywhere you put that white, you just want to contrast it with the black as well. For the comic book Wonder Woman, you kind of just have that traditional gold crown with the red star on it. And I wanted to line mine first with the black, um, not only to show me exactly where I'm putting my crown, but also just to continue with that cartoon look and really make it bold and stand out. So you're gonna draw little cheekbones with the black and then for your chin, you wanna go right under your chin and bring it up on either side and then connect that all the way back to your jawbone. And you wanna make sure you have a nice kind of like wide triangle on either side that you can fill in. And that's gonna help you get even more of that really cartoon jaw look. I also lined my throat and my collarbones and then kind of right in between my collarbones just to pull it all together. I wanted to highlight under my eyebrows um, to kind of just brighten it up a little bit. And on my favorite part, anytime that I use glitter on my face, I always use Vaseline. I love using Vaseline because the glitter sticks really, really well to it. It doesn't ever shed or fall out throughout the day. It lasts for a super long time. And when it dries, it just feels super light. It doesn't feel like cakey or thick like on your face, like normal paint would. So I just take a makeup brush and um, brush on that Vaseline anywhere I want the glitter to go. You can use your finger, you can use a brush, you can use a paintbrush, whatever you want. Um, and then I pour my glitter on a styrofoam plate or a paper plate and I stick that right under my chin so I can catch any glitter that might happen to fall off. And then you don't wanna wipe it on, you wanna tap it on really gently. So I just stick my brush in the glitter and then just gently press it onto the Vaseline and it sticks so well, it gets really thick and just beautiful, I love it. Um, for the red star, I waited until the Vaseline and the glitter had kind of dried and set a little bit and then I just used the blue red lip scents and I put a little bit on the makeup brush and drew the star on. And it stayed perfectly well, it was really awesome and just tied the whole thing in together. Now for my eyelashes, my favorite lashes are from houseoflashes.com. These ones are starlit. They're really thick and bold and dramatic and just worked really well for this look. So that's it, that's the look. I hope you guys liked it. Um, don't forget to like and comment on this video and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for tuning in.